they don't want sharks in the area, so they're using baited hooks to attract sharks to the area. Makes perfect sense. If you're on crap. This Last Australian call is unscientific, indiscriminate. It's a knee-jerk political reaction by the Prime Minister Colin Barnett to act like he's doing something to protect the public safety. When in reality, 80% of the Australian public, when they were first polled, are against it, probably more are against it. The world shark conservation and ocean conservation uh, community are outraged, as are we at Shark Stewards and White Shark Video and all the other nonprofits and volunteers that joined us today in San Francisco. Australia is one of the countries known to protect white sharks, and it's a first world country. How do you explain what's happening there? It's a case of politics in the boat. The majority of the public were actually support of more research and the Western Australian government chose to go the other way and appease the public by buying boats. Was that the one that was killed, not the tiger? No, it wasn't the tiger, it was a bull shark. Really? Yeah, female bull shark. Wow, okay. Yeah, definitely not a tiger, man. Yeah. Myself, just a black asteroid. Wow, bull shark. It's really interesting. I still can't believe I'm actually out here having to, to deal with this. Never thought it would happen in our backyard. We like to think of ourselves as a environmentally proud country. We all you know, stand up as one against the Japanese whalers. Well, what we're doing is no better. It's, it's not proven to make any difference at all to your safety. It's a placebo effect. Having a dead shark on a line for 12 hours overnight, a kilometre off your beach, has got so much potential to bring more sharks in. Sharks eat sharks. Sad state of affairs. Thank you, knee-jerk bunnet.